Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial. David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show us how to calculate year to date across multiple columns using the new lambda helper function called make array. Now, the make array is one of the new functions that were released to the beta channel of M365. So, you need to be in the M365 beta channel in order to have access to these new functions. Now, I'm going to create this report calculation using the standard pivot table and then we're going to see how to use the new make array lambda function let's start now we have this data set so what i'm going to do is to click in a single cell and proceed to the insert type of ribbon click on pivot table now in the pivot table from table slash range we have our table range and we want this report to be created in a new worksheet so i'm going to click on ok now we have our pivot table report ready so I'm going to come to the pivot table analyze and turn on the field list. So we have our pivot table field showing to the right, left of my screen. Now you're going to see your own to the right of your screen, but I prefer to have mine to the left of the screen. Now let's create our sample report or create our pivot table report. So I need a cross tab report to show me the total sales by month and customer type. So I'm going to get the customer type field drop into the columns. And the other date i'm going to drop inside the rows now we have the month and we have the customer type in each of the columns so let's get the total and drop inside the values so we have created a simple pivotable report now let's format using the specified currency in our original settings so i'm going to right click and choose number format and we want currency and i click on ok bam so i'm going to just copy this ctrl c let me just paste here to duplicate okay now let's use this to create our year-to-date calculation across multiple columns using the standard pivot table so just right click any one of these show values as they want to choose running total in now the base fit is going to be based on the order date so i'm going to click on okay bam we have our year-to-date across multiple calculation in standard pivot table now let's check it out okay so we have the initial value which never changes now when you had this together the month january and february for customer type called consumer then in the status bar we have fifteen thousand four four five, and that's exactly what we had here accurate now let's check you know for small business let's check month january to june and that's going to give us one fifty eight thousand four one one and that's exactly what we have one fifty eight thousand four one one so this is how to create the year to date in the standard pivot table now let's proceed to using the make array function so i'm going to copy this ctrl c and let's do alt h baby to paste as ordinary value and let's tidy things up let's, let's increase the columns oops all right so let me get rid of this and let's delete the calculation delete okay now let's start with the make array lambda help function equal sign and the make array now let's see what it does the make array returns a calculated array of a specified row and column size by applying a lambda function now let's press the tab key so the make array Lambda helper function requires three compulsory arguments, which are rows, columns, and function. Now, for the rows, I'm going to type in rows function because I'm going to calculate how many rows I have in my data sets. So let's scroll to the left. Now I'm going to select the entire in records, excluding the um, the grand total. Okay. Now close parentheses, comma, and for the columns argument, I'm going to type in the columns. I'm going to count how many columns I have in the entire records again I want to choose b22 to e33 close parenthesis and let's just evaluate and check what we have f9 bam we have 12 rows in our data set control z and for columns press f9 cool okay i actually need the columns not the column function okay now it should work f9 bam we have four columns controls and now let's go ahead with the formula let's go to the right now the next one is the function now in this case i'm going to throw in the lambda function and for the lambda function i need two parameters i'm going to call one my row parameter and for the second parameter i'm going to use my column 
comma. Now, for the calculation, I'm going to train the index function. Now, the index function requires the array. So, for the array, in this case, I'm going to train the scan lambda apple function. So, the scan requires the initial value. So, initial value is going to be zero, comma. And for the array, I'm going to train yet another index function. Now, this index function, I'm going to give the um, B22 to E33, okay? Comma. Now, for how many number of rows that I actually want to move, in this case, I'm just going to put zero, comma. And for the columns, now I need to pass in this my column defined parameters here, okay? So I'm going to just type in my column, all right? Then we can close off the index and the scan, comma, the array. In the array argument of the scan function. Now, for the function, I'm going to throw in another lambda function. Now, in this case, I need the accumulator and the value. So I'm going to use A to represent accumulator, comma, and V to represent value, comma. Now, for my calculation in this lambda, I'm going to type in A plus um, V, which means accumulator plus the value close of the lambda and then we can close of the scan so we are back to the index okay so these are the input value for the index array arguments okay so comma now for the row number row arguments i'm going to pass in this my row defined parameter so i'm going to type in my row okay comma and finally for the column number which is an optional argument i'm just going to type in one and then we can close off the index and we can close off the lambda and we can close off the make array now all things being equal this formula should work now control enter that's cool now let's format this in the currency in our original settings control shift four okay let's get rid of this and let's you know Pull this across up here. Oops. Control X to cut and let's you know come close to this section here. Okay, let's paste here. Control V. Okay. Now let's compare you know the result for the standard pivot table and the make array calculation. Let me just scroll this to the right. Okay. Now let's do. Let's check it out. So you can see now we have the same. Oops, let's close this pivot table field. Now we have fifteen thousand four four five point three four cents, and that is exactly what to achieve for the month of February. That is the year to date for the month February and the consumer customer tide. Now let's check. You know, for the small business, you can actually see that. For the month of December, the running total is to it's eight thousand eight five nine, and that's exactly what you achieve. So all things being equal, we achieve the same result, just like you know we have in the standard pivot table. Now, of course, you know the results spill to the neighboring cells, to columns to the right, and the rows below. So these are just the spill, you know, cells, and this is where the formula actually steals. So this is how to use the new make array lambda apple function to calculate year to date across multiple columns i hope you get this video if you do you know, like share subscribe and comment in the section thank you i'll see you in the next video cheers